In this video, I want to show you how to 3D print with PETG filament using the Quiddy um, X12 3D printer. Now, the manufacturer of the Quiddy X12 3D printer only lists two types of filaments you can use. These are ABS and PLA. For various reasons, I found that PETG is a better plastic for what I like to print. PETG is more durable, stronger, and is more impact resistant than ABS. And for me, PLA tends to crack much easier um, in small parts that I like to make. Whereas the um, PETG doesn't tend to crack like I've seen happen with the PLA and the ABS. Even though the Quiddy X12 3D printer does not say it can print with PETG, I have found that it does. What's rough? I hope you really dig this video. Please subscribe to the Psychoto channel. Do it. First I had trouble making the bottom layer smooth on my prints with PETG. Using the regular blue bed that came with the printer. So I uh, preheated the print bed to about 40 degrees and slowly peeled off the top blue layer. So I started at one corner and slowly peeled off the top blue layer of my print bed. And to do that, first I preheated it to about 40 degrees and let it warm up. And then um, there's screws underneath here and here and one in the back, you can take and adjust and take the whole uh, print bed up. And then there's a plug-in back here. You can unplug it if you don't want the heat, but I actually left it plugged in so it would still stay heated and help when I peeled off the blue, the old blue bed. This is my old blue bed that was on there. It had kind of gotten destroyed, beaten up, um, a lot of extra glue and such on it. I suppose if I washed it really good and I could put it back on which I still could but when I peeled it off there was still glue that held the original blue top down so I just left it there and I took my piece of glass like I said I actually got two of them and I still have a spare here oh it was two dollars and sixty eight cents I got two of these they're just plain pieces of glass and that's one right there <clears throat> So anyhow, I uh, pressed down the piece of glass onto the bed and uh, before I did this though, I did make sure that I brought the bed down lower so when the um, print head comes down it won't hit the glass and then later you can adjust it up to, um, to get it really close because that's what I like it is. I like the print head really close to the glass so it prints smooth because I couldn't get the bottom smooth on my other prints, but now they are. So, go to tools and then manual here. And you can go up. Then you can reach your hand under here and adjust this if you need to to make the glass, the bed go up or down. Once I got it in there, I did have to adjust it down, like I said, because the glass is thicker than the blue padding that was on there before. So I had to lower it, but I, then I adjusted it so it's just really close to the print head when it's printing. <clears throat> so here's a print that I printed a little earlier tonight, and uh, it's cooled to the touch now, so it's cooled down. I found that if I try to take off my print when it's hot, it sometimes sticks so good, and I don't use a rim or anything, it sticks so good that it... Um, actually has broken off part of it before but now that it's cold it usually comes off pretty good see like that now I want to show you how smooth that is it does have a little bit of glue I need to wash off but other than that the bottom's fairly darn smooth and that's what I wanted and then on this item I also wanted to a kind of stipling on one end, if you can see the stipling there. It might be kind of hard to see, but anyway. So, 
for me it's printing out good that's what I like and then it's also easy to clean off any extra filament you see here there's a little bit red there but that's actually underneath right there now this is filament is spread down by the print head and that just comes off really easy that way because it's on glass here's the print head right here with a little bit extra print coming out it's cold right now now I'm not sure if you know how which you probably do but I'm just gonna go over um, adding the, the filament when you need to so what you do if you want to add or exit or take out filament um, you preheat it in fact these are my settings here when I print PETG I like the um, print bed to be at 80 degrees I like the print head to be at 250 degrees but as it warms up it makes it easier to take the filament out okay so filament if you want it to come out first of all pull off this cover and then kind of hold the filament and go press up while it's warm make sure you warmed it up a little like I did here it comes slowly came up and out. I better stop it. You can see it's kind of rigid here where it was gripped. Anyway, then I'll insert it in the hole up here in the printer. Now I'll push the down button to bring the filament in. And there it goes, it's going down. Now I can see it squirting out down here too, so I know it's working, so I'll hit stop. there's a bunch of it that just came out okay so my magic trick to make the uh, product stick is this is I take Elmer's washable clear glue comes in a big bottle it's clear I got this big bottle off of Amazon you just use a little bit at a time I'll show you so I just take this take just a little bit there Put the lid back on so it doesn't dry out. Then I put the glue on the bed. And then I have a little spray bottle that's just filled with water. And I spray some water like that. And then I kind of mix it all up. red plastic and the thing about this is is once you've done this I can usually print about 10 items without adding any more glue and all I do is when I when it's warming up is I'll spray a little few sprays of water on the bed mix it around and I don't have to add any glue and it seems to work just fine 
so I only add glue I'd say about every 10 prints now if you did bigger prints you might have to add more glue I'm not sure I haven't really done bigger prints because I use I just make small parts right now I mean I have done bigger prints earlier when I wasn't using PETG but the PETG plastic for me tends to work better doesn't crack and is stronger So let's see what the temperature is now. Okay, so the print bed's at the right temperature, and the print head is basically at the right temperature because it'll print, at, I think, 246. So I just gotta go back here and choose what I want to print. Okay, it's starting to heat up again because it cooled down just for a minute when I hit stop. Sometimes a little bit of filament will squeeze out of here, so I try to wipe it off before it starts. Okay, there it goes. So I have mine printing at just a rate of um, 3 millimeters per second on the first couple layers, so it takes a while. But I think that helps uh, that helps make the bottom of it smooth. Again, this is about this is how smooth it is. Now the top layer is pretty good too. You can obviously tell it was 3D printed, but it's pretty pretty fine, I'd say. The sides are quite well smooth. If you look really close, you know there you can see there's little lines in them. But you could sand that out with a really fine sandpaper. So. That's how you print with the PETG. At least that's how I print on a Quiddy X12 printer by Quiddy Tech. Just click here to subscribe to the Psychoto channel. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe already. Why don't you? <laughs>